The idea of moving to Kansas City to join Kansas City Ballet and become the artistic director, that was a really crazy, amazing thought. Hi, my name is Devin Carney. I'm the new artistic director for Kansas City Ballet. It's so exciting to be here in Kansas City and to be a part of such a vibrant organization. The search committee having interviewed several candidates, it was very clear pretty early on um, that Devin Carney was going to be the right artistic director for this company at this point in its history and at this point uh, in, its, in, its, in its future. I knew that he had waited his whole life for a position like this. He had trained for it. He had worked very hard. He called me when he got the artistic directorship here in Kansas City Valley. I still have that message on my phone saved um, and him so excited and saying that he got the job and, and this is his dream come true. Growing up into a company position, growing up through my 20 years as a professional dancer, moving on to being a ballet master with Boston Ballet for five years, in the interim also running Boston Ballet's summer dance program for almost 10 years, and then going to Cincinnati Ballet and expanding my horizons even further into what it means to be a director. The real game changer was his generosity of spirit. He just, it was someone who we just knew would have great impact with the community, would work well with the dancers, would inspire them. Looking back 10 years ago, one of the biggest things was what to do first. And that was a huge undertaking because I want to do everything, of course, right away. Devin's first piece for the Kansas City Ballet in terms of repertory was called Opus One. He decided for the very first program that was on the rep that year that he was going to choreograph a 2-2 ballet so that he could feature the company in a very classical way. It's a world premiere choreographed by myself, uh, which I'm very excited to be having the opportunity to work with our fantastic Kansas City Ballet dancers. It is a massive, exciting, large orchestral work, and the choreography very much uh, is of the same caliber in terms of its size. We'll have a moment on stage where you will see the entire Kansas City Ballet. One of Devin's great strengths and, and the thing I, I love about him uh, from, a, from an artistic director standpoint, he loves to use a lot of people. I thought he'd do a piece for eight or ten dancers and I wasn't, we weren't asking that much, I didn't think. Well, he just, he just put this whole full company piece together, which was really, it was wonderful. It was very, very courageous, actually. It was coming out of the box in the first, first year as the artistic director of the company, and it worked out really well. It was kind of our first way as dancers to see the direction he could potentially be taking the company. The company needed a growth spurt. It had everything that was feasible to make it happen in place. We had the facility, we had the performing arts theater, which was now big enough to accommodate large ballets. So now what do we need? We needed more dancers in order to fill the, what is needed to put on big full-length classical ballets. We were only a company of 30 dancers in terms of the main company. That's not enough. When Devin introduced the second company, that kind of laid the groundwork for the company we are today. And it was wonderful from the very start, and they're a wonderful group of young artists who come from all over the country and contribute to core roles in the company, but also they are our community ambassadors, and they're out in the schools now uh, performing lecture demonstrations and site-specific performances elsewhere. And on top of that, these young artists are our future company artists. What we're able to do now is, is extraordinary. When uh, we saw that first performance of Swan Lake, people realized the growth that had happened in only a couple of years. Devin is has brought classical ballet back to Kansas City and Kansas City audiences. That being Swan Lake, Sleeping Beauty, Romeo and Juliet. I had the opportunity as a young dancer to be uh, in the role of Romeo. To come to Kansas City Ballet and have my chance, my opportunity to be able to bring this ballet to life in the way I see it 
was really rewarding and to watch our dancers take to it like a fish in water and really go for it. And it was such a dramatic, emotional experience to see our artists portray these incredible roles. One particular role that I would say stands out is the role of Odette Odile in our production of Swan Lake. It is a role that demands a full breadth of knowledge of the classical technique. And these are roles that Kansas City Ballet dancers had not yet had an opportunity to perform. So to see this come to life and to see the eyes open, the light bulbs go off, was just the coolest thing. He expects a lot of his dancers, and I think that because of that, he's got a great company with a fabulous work ethic. All of these classical ballets that he has brought back, I think it's only just made our company dancers better and stronger and, and even a more cohesive group. And that makes for just a more cohesive company because everyone is, is having to learn each other and, and dance together and, and be friends <laughs> with one another. You walk into that studio when everybody's in there taking class and it, it, it takes my breath away. So he set about building uh, dancers that would sustain and provide us with a classical ballet company that could then do both Swan Lake as an example or a mixed repertory of some of the greatest choreographers currently living from around the world. To see how artists have grown and matured over the years and to see how they have actually had the chance to discover new avenues of artistic expression so that a dancer and our audiences could have a full experience of the broader breadth of what dance can be. One of the things that Devin wanted to do was to do a new Nutcracker. We needed a new Nutcracker. Nutcracker is a Kansas City holiday institution. Every winter the Kansas City Ballet does it to great success so you might be surprised to learn that they're actually rebuilding it. Artistic director Devin Carney is promising a nutcracker this December with dramatic new sets, new costumes, and even new choreography. And we hired uh, a terrific design team, uh, international designers uh, to do the work, uh, and then of course his, his, his choreography. He had a wonderfully unique approach to his version of the nutcracker. You know, the curtain opens and it's the, it's the workshop of Drosselmeyer. And in mo most productions, Drosselmeyer can be a character of, of mystery. And, you know, Devon's production made him much more approachable. He was just a com completely interesting part of this new Nutcracker. I'm thrilled with the way that we have been able to connect with our audiences with this production. My goal was always to make this a production that you could laugh with, enjoy with, and be transported with, no matter what your age. And I really do believe that we were able to accomplish that. He is so passionate about dance and theater. He's a great storyteller. He pays so much attention to detail. And that's somebody who's so passionate about the art form as Devin is. I believe that Devin wakes up every single morning with the passion that he exhibits and exudes every single day. I, I almost imagine that it's like he bounces out of bed with that artistic passion for ballet. He just doesn't stop. I mean, he's like the Energizer buddy. He loves it. He loves teaching class. He loves being in the studio. Like, he'll sit next to us and he'll hum Nutcracker and we're all so tired of hearing it and he still loves listening to like the first chords of the Nutcracker March. I mean, he, like, he loves it so much. He's never tired of it. He, he's not willing to be tired. He has a tremendous amount of positive energy in the studio with the dancers, with uh, his team, his artistic team. You know, it's inspiring to work with, to be in the studio with him, you know, as he's choreographing. So it's, it's, it's a pleasure, it really is.
the pandemic hit, I mean, every, you know, so there was a period of just shock. I mean, I walked into the studio one day and said to everybody, you have to go home. I don't know when you're going to come back. You have to go home. We didn't know how long this was going to be. This was disastrous. Um, you know, and there was a point in, in time when no dance was going on in the entire world. In the entire world, nobody was on the stage. We were interested in keeping ourselves in front of people. And that we did in space. Devin didn't hesitate for a minute, wanting to keep the company working and the dancers working. He knew how vital it was for everyone to have a daily class and have something to be working on. I mean, we were teaching in our living rooms and the dancers were dancing in their living rooms and kitchens for a year. And David kept us going. He had us filming projects. We were all in pods. We did our whole season virtually. So much was happening in the world, but we desperately needed that sense of normalcy to you know, maintain a healthy mindset through all of it. No, we could not be on stage, but what we did do was keep our dancers employed, and we discovered the world of virtual dance. He came to me and he sat and he, we said, I, there's something, this thing I want to do. The New Moves program, which is our new choreography project, I want to use that, but I want to have it all built around dance for the screen. I want to hire videographers. I want to bring in, you know, choreographers both from the company, as New Moves does, and other guests that we, that we bring in. And I want to have different venues all over town to produce these. And it was sort of, it was this 20 minute adventure. Hello, I'm Devin Carney, Artistic Director of Kansas City Ballet. Welcome to our ongoing presentations of New Moves, the broadcast series. Devin really made a jump and took us all along for the ride, you know, and it was, it was amazing that we did that. And we had like, I want to say 10 or 15 brand new creations done in a year. It was his total idea, you know, it was, it was one person taking a real leadership role in solving a problem. And this became a hugely successful project for us. His positivity about the situation and about it working out because it had to work out because it was the right thing for us to do. It was the only way for I think our dancers and all of us to mentally just really try to stay in it and stay positive and encouraged because we, we have to move forward. We have to carry this art form forward. And I think that that is key. That is, that is Devin's key integral part of his personality is that he knows he must carry ballet forward, carry dance forward. Devin's impact on the company has, it's really, it's hard to measure. Kansas City Ballet has been here. It's been here for over 60 years. And it's always been a part of the professional dance world in America and in the world but it is undeniable the effect that Devin has had on this company to bring us on to a larger arena. One thing Devin has done is raised the bar for Kansas City Valley, and he's keeping it up there. You know, the fact that we went to Kennedy Center twice to do Nutcracker is pretty amazing. For a long time, we were a stepping stone company. Stepping stone meaning you know, dancers would come for a year or two or maybe three, and then they'd look for their next opportunity and then they'd move on. So one, of, one of Devin's great contributions to this company, and there are many of them, but one of them, um, was this company transformed from a stepping stone company into a destination company. Whenever he got the job, I, I very much saw myself growing here. Devin created this beautiful shift in the company. He's pushing the dancers to be of the same caliber as any company you would see in America or even in the world. And I think that he has such high expectations for all of us. and. It creates a beautiful work environment, and I think that from here, Kansas City Ballet can go anywhere it wants to go, only up. <laughs> the stars and the moon are still a possibility, so I'm delighted to be part of that journey with him and to help those things happen. 
I mean, he always says that, like carpe diem. I mean, there, you only have this moment. And I and Devin will even say that to the dancers, like, what are you, what are you waiting for? Like, you only have this moment right now to give it your all. You don't know what tomorrow is going to be. You don't know what an hour from now is going to be. We we are all in this very temporarily and. You know, it's what do you do with the time you have as, as an artistic director and as a person in this world. So for me, it's important to, what do you say, pass it forward? <laughs>